Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. Uh, I'm Trevor. And today we are going to soften up Trev's ass of his forerunner with these little guys. Wait, what? This is the sumo spring from Super Springs. A lot of springs there. What this is, is a rear bump stop replacement. And the cool thing with this versus a lot of the other uh, hydraulic um, full airbag uh, bump stop springs out there is that it's kind of the best of both worlds. There is no mechanical part of this. Uh, you don't have to rebuild like a hydraulic. Uh, you don't have to worry about a puncture like an airbag. Uh, this is using urethane with air bubbles inside. So they're trapped in there, not gonna do anything, and you could drill a hole through this, won't affect it at all. But what it does is, of course it acts as a bump stop, but it's a little taller. It just compresses it, and it just gives it a little bit more time to uh, disperse that energy, essentially. The other great thing about this is when you're under load, like say when I'm pulling my trailer, my back end is going to sag a lot more. So I'll actually be sitting directly on top of the spring. And what that'll do, it'll just then cushion it the whole ride. It'll so it'll support it and cushion it. So I won't have a harsh bottoming out like I do now. The other thing, this is blue. Not only does blue add 10 horsepower because it's cool color, uh, it denotes the use, so or the density. This one is your light to medium use, um, and then they have a little bit more dense one for uh, light, medium, some heavy applications, and then yellow is for medium to heavy applications. For forerunners and everything else, probably the blue will be fine unless you are extremely weighted down, heavy trailer and everything else, you may want a, uh, a more dense application. To the install, Batman. To the install. Not gonna lie, that's filthy. I use it. That's why pressure washers were invented. Step one is going to be jacking up the rear end, supporting the rear axle and taking the tires off. So that is check mark done. Now we have to clean off this disastrous old bump stop so we can actually access the, uh, the bolts. So that's step two right now. I, I use it. Next step after cleaning is removing the factory bolts using 12 millimeter on both ends. It's fucking stripping. It's just stripping it. Pittsburgh tools. <laughs> so this is a 12 millimeter socket and the top is captured so don't try to uh, take this nut off because you're not going to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> All yours kid. Now that we have the old bump stop off, we're gonna go ahead and just clean it up a little better, get all the dirt and everything so we get a nice clean, uh, clean install. Yeah, and let's go ahead and get all that, rest of that dirt off the axle onto Kelly's floor. On the Forerunner, the bump stop impacts on the top of the axle. And as you can see, it's a small surface area. You're getting a much larger surface area on the new one. But you have to make sure that the surface area that it's gonna be impacting, there's no brake lines, ABS sensors, or anything else in the way. Um, on passenger side, the ABS sensor is close. Once we get it installed, we'll double check it. And if it is in the way, we'll just zip tie it off a little bit more. The mount 
is offset. So the holes and the uh, bolt holding the spring on is all offset from center. You want the larger area on the inside of the vehicle. It'll give you more clearance for brake lines, ABS sensors and such. Um, and it'll also give you more mounting surface on the frame. Super Springs also includes really good hardware. Um, the only difference is they go from a 12 millimeter to a 13 millimeter, and they also include Loctite. Ah, get in there. Well, thank you, Vanna. Why? Why is this happening to me today? Oh man. I would say it's just today, but you know. So as you can see right here, this is the uh, ABS sensor line and right under the impact zone. So we're gonna zip tie it up out of the way. Super Springs, Sumo Springs, super easy install, two bolts, zip tie the cable, good to go. All right guys, that was the Sumo Springs install on Trez 5th Gen 4Runner and they're really, really cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, the big difference is with the trailer on. Um, I'm not bottoming out at all. Everything's very smooth back there. Uh, and that is after taking uh, the trailer off-road, uh, having just the uh, truck off-road, uh, no bottoming out, very smooth in the back. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, now I just need to figure out something for the front. Yeah. It's really cool watching it in slow motion on the GoPro video of actually a bottoming out and hitting that sumo spring and compressing. Yeah. Uh, it's impressive. I mean, it's really, really smooth. You'd think it'd be a harsh uh, shock. It's really actually very smooth. Yeah, because I mean, when you're feeling it, I'm like, yeah, this is really stiff polyurethane, but no, it's awesome. Yeah, awesome it is. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. It really does help Adventure Belt grow. And follow us on IG, AdventureBelt underscore. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.